So year eight, uh, welcome to your final real lesson of the year in history. Um, it's going to be a similar uh, format to last time uh, in as much as I would like you to complete your answers on Microsoft Forms. So you should have this open and in front of you. Um, you can be doing this on the computer or on your mobile phone. Um, either one is fine and hopefully it's going to make it easier for you to do. We noticed that almost everybody who's doing GCSE history next year um, did this lesson and we were really pleased to see that. We are uh, looking forward to starting year nine with you. Um, it should be a really good um, year for us with a lot of new topics. But back to the end of year eight, uh, what has caused technology to change over time? Our final lesson. If you um, can make sure that you've got your <coughs> um, got your two videos open uh, on your um, device, computer, or phone, or tablet, even. Um, the first seven questions are focused around these two videos. I just want you to have an idea of um, the sort of the direction that um, the 21st century is taking. It's a lot different to the 20th century. There are completely new ideas about our environment and our place in our environment, and there are completely new ideas about our health and how that should um, be. Um, and how it affects us and affects the planet as well. And these two videos, I think, um, show that idea really clearly. So, watch these two videos, the left one first and then the right one, and answer questions one to seven on Microsoft Forms. Okay, and before we continue, I hope you've seen that um, 21st century, our uh, public health um, has tried to increase the amount of guidance that we have to have a healthier diet and a healthier lifestyle. And it has stopped things happening in um, bars and other areas um, in terms of stopping smoking, increasing the amount of money we pay for alcohol and sugar and things. It's all to help us be a bit healthier and to protect the environment more as well. Um, but I want you now to think about the factors that are changing technology. And besides the three main ones that we've been working with, I've put science and environment in as the other two because they will um, feature heavily in this lesson. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is uh, answer question eight on Microsoft Forms now. Pause the video, answer question eight on Microsoft Forms. Okay, the first one is quite fun. Uh, settlements are completely changing and it's all down to the internet, um, our dependence on mobile phones and laptops, uh, computers. Um, we love to be able to control things that we're doing um, and this hasn't changed over time. Our gadgets have become more sophisticated and our phones have enabled us to have more control over things that are happening around us than ever before. But the sinister side is that the companies that are providing these things are sort of taking all that data and thinking about what we're doing as well. Spooky. So uh, keep an eye out for that in the future. Right now, read about settlements and answer questions 9 to 11 on Microsoft Forms. Pause the video here. The next section is transport. I've kept a fairly narrow focus on transport for the two things which I suppose are the most different to previous, uh, the previous century. Um, there's two slides here. First one is on space um, and space exploration and how that has changed. Pause the video here and read this one. And the second slide is about um, air travel, which is still important. So just pause the video here and read this one and answer questions 12 to 14 on Microsoft Forms. 
Okay, our third section is public health and science. Again, I've been really specific. Um, we're looking at basically micro um, <coughs> the science of um, the smallest particles in uh, the universe that we know of, and also the smallest cells um, in our and, and things that make up our bodies. Um, so pause the video here and read this slide. And the second slide is on stem cell research, which are building blocks for um, our regular cells. Pause the video here, read about this, and answer questions 15 to 17 on my platforms. All right, our final section is on the military. And unlike the last three um sections i think you'll find that the factors that are changing military technology are a little bit different i think you would have found that perhaps the environment uh has played a huge part in the previous three um as well as obviously um our, our general understanding of science but have a look through this uh, read the information about each different technology and answer questions 18 to 20 on my problems. Pause the video now. Okay, so that's a very, very brief overview of the 21st century. Um, in my opinion, the environment is taking a bigger role than it used to. But I think public health has uh, a science um, has increased our knowledge of public health much better. And we found that it's uh, one big system. Um, and perhaps war is not taking such a big um, place in change of technology. But you might contest that considering the types of vehicles and weapons that we can create now. So have a think about those five different factors and answer questions for anyone on Microsoft Form. Pause the video now and do that. Right, this is the final two slides of the lesson. They are both um, going to be questions that you need to write long answers for. And it's the same um, format. So what you see on the screen right now, I've given you tempting starters to answer the question. Uh, in the 21st century, that should say, which facts have the biggest impact on the change of technology and why? Uh, I want you to answer question 22 on Microsoft Forms about that right now. And finally, question 23 on Microsoft Forms is a download question. Now, we've looked at several different periods of British history, but we've also delved into Islamic history and Chinese history as well. Um, I've given you a brief overview of the British period of history here. I've left out the Islamic and the Chinese history just so that you can have a clearer continuity um, of each um, section, performance, transport, public health and military. But please feel free to take that into account, the Islamic and the Chinese history as well. Um, I've given brief descriptions at the top of how things changed and what was influencing change. But I'd like you to think about factors causing the change and what factors caused change overall. This will be in your books or on your computers. It will be the final question you answered each week. I want you to look at all that right now and answer question 23. What was the factor that changed things the most over uh, the course of history? Pause the video here. Do that now. And that's the end. I hope that you have spent um, between 60 and 90 minutes doing all of this, that is how long you are meant to. Um, obviously, don't submit on such show my homework. You um, have done your Microsoft forms and I'll be able to check that. However, 
um, it might be helpful to um, get a Microsoft Word document and click, uh, type in the, onto the document uh, completed or work submitted or whatever, and then submit that to Show My Homework, just to give me a green light on Show My Homework um, and make it very, very clear. Okay. Uh, if there was any problems or questions, you can get in touch with your teacher, be that Ms. Slater, Mr. Weir, or myself. Um, otherwise, um, I'll have something a bit more um, lighthearted, a bit more fun um, for you to do next week. Um, you have completed your year eight history work. Well done, guys. And um, give yourself a pat on the back. And uh, I will talk to you next week.